Lee, welcome to today's Technical Corner, MTD CNC. Um, as you can see, we're, we're satellite again, um, but the, the, the amount of products that we can talk about, uh, about Starag is, is quite interesting. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, very good. Thank you, Mark. Now, um, yet again, portfolio of Starag is, is quite uh, mind-blowing in reference to the size of components that you can actually machine. Uh, and I've mentioned this many a time, so I won't uh, bore our engineers with that. But um, when you're talking about critical parts, um, what I want to be talking about to you today is, is turbine blade machining. Now, Starek has a fantastic name when it comes to turbine blade manufacturing and, and the software behind it. Um, why are you so strong in this field? Well, Starek, Starek have been leaders in the world of blade machining for many years now. So the team in Rorschach's knowledge has, has evolved through decades of, of milling experience. Um, what's important is that we're always um, we're always very closely connected with our customers. So we understand their specific needs when it comes to making blades. So we manufacture optimized blade, mill turn grind machines. And then we also have our own CAM software called RCS which delivers optimized toolpaths specifically for blades. Now, when you talk about uh, RCS, does it actually differ from, uh, let's say, general CAM systems and software? Yes, it does, Mark. RCS is different because it's just for blades. Other CAM systems are far more flexible for programming, a bigger variety of different components. So what we do is we really focus on optimizing the toolpaths to drive over the surfaces Imagine your blade here, from here to here, you want the minimum number of step overs. And then in here, you use a different cutter, you need perfect blends. So the software has evolved so programmers can import models just with a few clicks. They can output the correct toolpath with the optimized um, strategy, the optimized tools. And the NC code is also then finely tuned with the machine's kinematics for Starag machines. So that all the axis moves are, are, are really optimized. But so when, when you say um, optimization, let's say when you've got an NC file, you know why should you actually have to use Starag blade machining then? Well, you you could output an NC file from RCS and then put it on another five-axis machine and cut a blade, but it wouldn't be as optimized on a Starag machine. So our machines are designed to use the shortest tools, minimum axis moves, but also be very stiff and dynamic. So if you've got the fastest machine on the market, as well as having the fastest tool path, then the cycle times are really optimized. They're significantly lower than you'd achieve using a standard cam system and standard five axis machines. So as well as manufacturing our own spindles in-house, which are also optimized for roughing and finishing the right tool and the right material groups there's a lot of special functions built into the machines um, such as dynamic parameter settings which uh, enables you to to machine a profile tolerance optimized within the machine's own kinematic movements so to get around the leading edge and trailing edge within a specific tolerance requires more work than machining over a more flatter edge so we've completely tuned the process um, customer of ours came up with a cycle time of four hours on a blade, showed us the blade, our estimate was less than 40 minutes. That's quite interesting, actually. I mean, you know, blade manufacturing, obviously, is a critical part, you know, but when you look at uh, the quality, you know, how important is that, Lee? Well, quality is the most important thing. Um, cutting blades very quickly poses challenges for any machine because it's constantly moving in, in, in simultaneous five axis mode, cutting difficult materials and working to very close tolerances. And blades uh, blades typically have a higher twist uh, and they're getting even thinner. So they chatter and vibrate along the pressure and suction faces and the leading edge and trailing edge on, on some blades now is, is like a knife edge. So the finished blade must come off the machine exactly to draw in tolerance and with a superb surface finish that doesn't require any polishing or we failed that's quite interesting actually I, I, i've been to raw jack in in switzerland uh to see the lx machines uh which are typically the machines that you use for uh, blade technology and blade machining uh, but for, for engineers who, who who may not know the size of blades that you can actually manufacture or, or machine what are they 
Well, we start with an LX021 machine, which is for small blades. And these can turn, mill and grind up to say 200 millimeters long. In fact, we've just developed a process where we manufacture the complete blade, including the component handling, the automation, milling, grinding of the root and aerofoil in a single setup. Then we go on to the 051 machines, which takes us up to about 390 millimeters or 490 um, driven tip station or center. And then we go from the 151 to the 451, which uses Starridge unique swivel head. And this covers blades from 830 uh, right the way up to 2600 millimeters when we have a dynamic steady. So small to very large blades. Well, as you know, I'm not an engineer and there's lots of machine tools in the marketplace. But so my knowledge, uh, you know, of, of Starag is good. But could, could you just answer me what uh, is a, a dynamic steady and driven tip station is? Yeah, of course, if, if, if you hold a very long blade, then gravity starts to pull the blade down in the middle and, and, and it flexes. So if you're holding your blade in this attitude, you, you've got a you've got a. Um, a clamping station at one side and at the other side of the blade you can either have a center or in or in most cases today you'd have another clamping driven tip, tip station so you can drive two or just drive one but very long blades that grip that dip we have a third steady in the middle so that steady grips the blade and rotates with the blade so you effectively mill so far steady here and then the steady moves a, a bit further along you probe, adaptive, mill the next section, move the steady along so far. So you can effectively clamp both ends, drive either and support, and you can apply um, tension and compression to blades, the process um, sorry, to tune out the, the, the chatter frequencies in, in the process, and also aid, aid the stress relieving when, you, when you're when cutting a forged blade that naturally stress relieves as you cut it. So all these things are built into the machine. A couple of questions in one, Lee, really, is that one, can you uh, explain to us what adaptive machining is and, and what are the typical materials for blade manufacturing? Well, adaptive machining is, is, is um, where you, you, you're machining up to a, a pre-machined or pre-forged face. So you'll probe the area you want to machine up to. Um, and then on the machine, you'll write a specific NC code that takes the cutter up to that exact surface and, and produces a seamless blend. So it would be used for leading and trailing edges or a snubber uh, that, that may be blended into a forged surface. Or as I said on the, on the previous question, where you're milling steps at a time along a very long blade. And you want to blend each, each of those sections in perfectly without any polishing. Both Starag and also TTL which is part of our group, um, group adaptive machine. In terms of blade materials, um, predominantly stainless steels, nickel alloys and titaniums. Now, it's, 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 when, when you look at the actual machines, uh, you know, that, which uh, all stand alone to, to a certain extent, um, do you also offer uh, automation uh, for the handling of components? Always, yeah. The 021 has its own built uh, tray system and, and gripper within the machine, so the automation's inside the machine. The other machines have workpiece changes, or they can be put into cells, robot gantry cells. Um, and also, we, we, we can add further processes within automation cells, polishing, measuring, part marking, etc. etc. Now, uh, you know, to, to, to summarise, uh, to a certain extent, I, I, you know, I, I know I use this a lot, but I do like the philosophy at Starag, engineering precisely what you value. But why, why should uh, potential new customers that are, are machining blades contact Starag? Well, lowest, lowest cost per part due to uh, extremely fast process times. I mentioned competitors machine at, at four hours, as at 40 minutes before, finely tuned process. Um, the machine's design is optimized and it's coupled with the CAM system. So every, everything, everything is linked in from that side. Uh, we have a lot of technologies on the machine like self calibration, measuring correction systems to ensure the machines are always geometrically uh, capable and correct. And this reduces maintenance and, 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 um, and other associated costs. The uptime package we offer 95% guaranteed availability with a fixed cost is a real advantage to customers. 
and then we've got intelligent flexible automation that we can we can um, introduce to enable lights out machining and all of these machines also have their own um, energy efficiency system so a typical machine can save 15,000 a year just in running costs and couple that with the ongoing um, consumable tool cost saving that people enjoy that use these machines they're a good through life very efficient and cost effective solution well a great insight into starag's uh, blade technology and the machining strategies you know why would you not uh, speak to starag but yet again lee thanks very much for your time much appreciated